Welcome back guys, I just watched season 2 of Ajin Demi-Human. It is now back on Netflix and I had a blast watching this season. Mr. Sato, exactly how far do you intend to take this? Hmm? Until I've taken over this country. Now the goal for season 2 mainly is to capture Mr. Sato, just like season 1. But things changed drastically in this one. We even get like the introduction of like a couple of members of the US Embassy and the military. A whole lot of like political interferences here and there. And then the things that Mr. Sato does here escalate super quick and just things change so much compared to season one, which I really, really like. Now there was a team up that I really, really liked between Nagai and Tosaki because they both definitely don't trust each other. And that's like the premise. That's what sets off this season is that team up and trying to figure out how these two teams who are opposites in the beginning are trying to figure out to help each other pretty much to get to Mr. Sato. The cool thing about this team up is that you get to learn a whole lot of new things with IBMs, like what they can do and what can't do, so that's pretty nice. Speaking of IBMs, we also get introduced to a bunch of other IGNs with cool IBMs, like some have wings, which was very nice, that and once you see it, you'll think it's pretty cool. Now, speaking of Mr. Sato's craziness, it just escalates to a whole new level. Like, this is not the Mr. Sato that we saw from season one. I mean, we do see his crazy side and, you know, his in intentions. But in this one, just things change. Like, he involves so many political figures and he tries to go after them. And it makes it so hard for Nagai to, like, find him because he doesn't know where he is or when he's going to strike. I like that season two actually ties up a lot of, like, missing points from season one. Like, you know, where was Kai? Isumi's background story was pretty cool. We also get to find out what Mr. Sato's real intentions are if you even consider them intentions. So it's kind of like strange what he's doing in season two, but at the same time, it's kind of like revolutionary because it's so different from whatever any villain has done in animes. Basically, Mr. Sato is going off the rails. Like, we don't know what to expect from him anymore. Not even Tan Tanaka. Like, Tanaka asks him, like, you know, he confronts him and then he's basically like Mr. Sato's like yeah you're right and then the funny part was like he's like well a slot for player two has opened and I love that scene because literally like maybe a couple scenes later after that they're both sitting down playing a video game right before shit goes down now one thing at the end actually was that there was another team up kind of like I kind of expected it I kind of saw it coming but I felt like it was going to ruin the end of the season because I didn't know how it was going to handle it but it actually did it in such a good way because it added so much tension and like drama between these groups and like within these conflicting groups actually because they belonged together but then they ended up separating at the end and the end of the season was amazing like the way they wrapped it up was so good they wrapped it up and then like they kind of left me wanting season three already because we don't know what's going to happen next and the crazier thing about the ending is because at this point a lot of people are wanting to capture mr sato i think there's like three different three four different groups but they all conflict with each other in some type of way whether it's political or you know Ajin versus human or government against human or government against government so it's kind of cool seeing those sides go and clash against each other I enjoyed this season very much I think uh, this was better than the first season actually I have to like go back and watch season one if I'm gonna do a review on it but I'm gonna give season two a four out of five there I mean there were a couple of things that I didn't really like but I guess they were just kind of like nitpicky. I mean, it wasn't anything major. There were like minor things, I would say. Like the animation still gets me. Like the CGI, it kind of like just sticks out like a sore thumb to me sometimes. But it's okay after a while, after watching it and like just getting into the story itself. You just kind of forget about it, which is fine. Oh my god, and Ko. Ko is, I don't know. I feel like he's useless in most most of the things he does like he's just kind of like annoying to Nagai and just calls him an idiot like so many times like if I could count how many times he's used the word idiot or anybody used the word idiot in this season like it'd be crazy like if you made a, sh a game to take shots for every idiot that gets said on the show you'd probably get wasted and die from alcohol poisoning like that's how many times they say it then the last thing is like Mr. Salto has his intention but like the thing is like I wonder if it's gonna get boring like the way he keeps saying you know it's this one thing and it's like are you gonna get bored of it or are we as viewers gonna get bored of the way he's portraying this like intention of his like we, we I don't I don't know where it's gonna end or how it's gonna end for him or you know what's gonna happen so we just have to sit back and wait so if you guys watch season two guys let me know what you guys think of season two down below in the comments also if you guys want me to do season one review let me know as well 
like this video and subscribe to my channel for more i will try to post more often like maybe two videos a week from now on so until next time guys stay tuned